Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks for joining us today. I just want to share with you this article from Arena Wire. Now, Arena is Australia's renewable energy agency, and they posted an article on the 30th of July, 2021. The headline says, $24 million boost to expand EV charging network. Hundreds of new EV charging stations will be built around the country. Arena has announced that five recipients will share in $24.55 million dollars to construct more than 400 new EV charging points around Australia. The funding has been allocated through the first round of the Future Fuels Fund, which is focused on growing access to charges for EV users in capital and regional cities. Arena has expanded its funding pool by $8.05 million to accommodate 19 projects led by five proponents, with each to install hardware capable of fast charging at least two cars simultaneously at a capacity of at least 50 kilowatts. Funding has been awarded to EV Networks, $8.85 million for 158 stations across eight regions, Ampol, $7.05 million for 121 stations across four regions, NG, $6.85 million for 103 stations across four regions, ChargeFox, $1.4 million for 16 stations across two regions, Electric Highways Tasmania, $400,000 for five stations in one region. And we'll go through the map in a second. The charges will be installed across eight regions that cover 14 of Australia's biggest cities. Regional centres Geelong, Newcastle, Wollongong and the Sunshine Coast will each receive at least eight new charging stations, in addition to new points installed across capital cities in each state and territory. The projects have a total value of nearly $80 million and will deliver a seven-fold increase in the number of fast charging stations across Australia's most populated cities and regions. Removing barriers, the funding built on Arena's past support for ChargeFox and EV's networks of intercity charging points, which have been positioned to link capital cities on highly trafficked routes. ChargeFox recently announced that construction has been finished on their 22-station network, which set out to make EV charging available to 75% of the Australian population. The network includes dynamic charging capability, allowing electrical output to be throttled back to minimise load on the grid during periods when demand is high. Announcing the funding recipients, Arena CEO Darren Miller said the increased funding pool will remove barriers to EVs by expanding Australia's fast charging network. As the costs of electric vehicles come down, more consumers and fleet users are looking to go electric. Expanding the fast charging network will make it easier than ever to drive an EV in Australia, he said. The proposals we received were of such high quality, we were compelled to increase the funding. We're delighted to be able to support more than 400 charging stations across the country. The Future Fuels Fund was first announced in the 2020-21 federal budget to remove barriers to the uptake of lower emissions vehicles. The first round aims to boost access to EV chargers in large cities, with future rounds to focus on increasing EV charging capacity in regional areas, reducing barriers for business fleets and increasing the use of hydrogen and biofuels in the transport sector. Range anxiety easing. Concerns about access to charging points is commonly cited as a reason for prospective EV buyers to not switch to electric. Access to chargers is a particular challenge for motorists without access to off-street parking, with the limited range of models available in Australian and high upfront costs also contributing to the slow uptake. To help manage growth in demand for electricity as more EVs hit the roads, Arena has supported smart charging trials with ActorWaggle, AGL and Origin that aim to minimise charging during periods when demand for electricity is high and even use vehicles to store energy to provide grid stabilising services. Alright, well that's quite promising for the future of electric vehicles in Australia. Alright, so here's the accompanying document with that article. Future Fuels Fund Round 1, Charging Station Location Maps as of July 2021 by ARENA, which is the Australian Government's Australian Renewable Energy Agency. Contents, Canberra, Greater Sydney, Newcastle and Central Coast, Wollongong, Darwin, Adelaide, Hobart, Brisbane, Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast, Melbourne and Geelong, and Perth. All right, let's have a look at what's in Canberra. What's in store for Canberrans? Let's just zoom out a little bit here. So, here we go. We've got Canberra. We've got one proposed in Manuka, near the airport, Western Creek, Phillip, Queanbeyan, Belconnen, Nichols, and Gungallen. One out in Waniasar as well. 
Let's have a look at Sydney. A few more in Sydney there, which is good. Uh, a lot obviously focused around the east side of Sydney and within the uh, basin there. Got quite a few in the north of Sydney there. We can see along the major arterials there. I can see that's probably Pittwater Road. Go up to the northern beaches and this will be the uh, M2 possibly heading out there. Up Pacific Highway as well. And then uh, along Victoria Road and some more out in the west, up in the northwest here. Some close to Parramatta, some along the M4 Great Western Highway, and then some through the southwest of Sydney, which is good to see, out towards Bankstown, Liverpool, and then down towards Mascot and the southeast of Sydney, and then down into the Sutherland Shire here, down towards Kirawi, and in that uh, that bay area as well, which is great. And there's some more heading out to, towards Campbelltown and also towards Wollongong there, which is really good. And uh, looking at the next town, which is Newcastle Central Coast area. There's a few in Newcastle there, one in Charleston, uh, Toronto, Belmont, Caves Beach, and then up towards Raymond Terrace, Rutherford, that's good. And some more down towards the Central Coast there, uh, towards Gosford, there's a few that are going to be installed there, and one in Woi Woi, which is great. And then Wollongong is going to get some love as well. Three charges uh, destined for Wollongong and a couple in Dapto and then towards Albion Park and Barrack Heights, which is great. And Darwin's going to be getting some as well. One in Darwin itself, one up towards Casuarina and then one towards Palmerston. Scrolling down, we see Adelaide getting some potential new charges too. Quite a few in the Adelaide CBD there. And one out towards Port Adelaide, a couple out towards Modbury, then down towards Glenelg, Blackwood, one out in Mount Barker there in the outskirts, and then a couple down here towards Noalunga. I apologize to locals if I didn't pronounce that right, and then a couple up in the north towards Elizabeth. And Hobart will be getting some as well in Hobart itself, and out towards Glenorchy, one in Sandy Bay, a couple in Kingston. Rosny Park, one at the airport there, and one towards Sorrel. And there's Brisbane getting quite a few charges there, both north and south side of Brisbane, uh, out towards Chermside up in the north, and up towards Caboolture. That's good that uh, they're getting some love out there as well. And then on the south side, some towards Carindale, Sunnybank, uh, quite a few along uh, major arterials, a couple out in the west in Forest Lake, and uh, Browns Plains, and Logan, and Victoria Point. So that's good to see quite a good spread there. And in the Sunshine Coast, it's good to see they're getting some. We've got some in Noosa Heads, a couple in Coulomb, and uh, down towards Caloundra as well. So really good. You can do that uh, journey quite easily now from Brisbane to the Sunshine Coast. And then down towards the Gold Coast, got a couple up in Runaway Bay, Southport, and then a couple in the main Gold Coast Strip itself uh, in Broad Beach, and then down towards Burley Heads, and then towards the New South Wales border down in Tweed Heads, and in New South Wales itself in Kingscliff. That's great. And Melbourne's getting, uh, of course, quite a bit of love too. A lot in the Melbourne CBD area and in the city ring uh, in their major roads, and then up towards the north in uh, Craigieburn, Wallen, Wandong, out in the northwest, Sunbury, out to the uh, to the east side of Lily Lilydale out here, and then down to the southeast in Frankston and the Mornington Peninsula, and also down towards Geelong uh, en route. You've got Werribee and a few more on the way to Geelong there, which is great. Really good to see. And finally, Perth is not going to miss out. There's quite a few in the Perth area, uh, in the Perth inner city area, Cannington, Canning Vale, uh, out towards Fremantle as well. And then up in the north to Hillary's, Clarkson, and out to the northwest, uh, sorry, northeast in Midland and Averley. And on the south side, you've got some in Rockingham, Bifford, or Byford, and then Mandura down to the south as well. So that's really quite promising that uh, our major cities and regional centres will be getting lots of electric vehicle charges. And I think we're doing this because, you know, the, one of the biggest arguments to electric vehicle uptake, as the article pointed out, was that uh, there aren't enough uh, charging stations in the inner city, because not everybody has uh, off-street parking uh, to be able to charge their electric vehicles, which is one of the biggest benefits, obviously, of owning electric vehicles, is that you can charge at home. But if, obviously, if you live in an apartment or uh, in the inner city where you don't have off-street parking, like a carport or a garage, then it makes it hard to charge at home. Uh, but if you've got, uh, for example, let's just go to Sydney, if you've got, you know, electric vehicle charges uh, on major arterials heading out from the city, then, you know, you could potentially charge uh, there every week. 
while you're doing your shopping or potentially if it's close to your workplace, park there for an hour or so while it's charging and then take it back. So I think this is really good. This will help certainly increase uptake of electric vehicles in years to come. And uh, and certainly if people ask me now, you know, what about charging stations? Well, there is certainly hope with uh, charging stations to be installed along major routes in a major city or regional area near you. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, leave a comment below if you are looking at buying an electric vehicle, but you don't have any off-street parking, whether seeing an electric vehicle charging station near you will help you make your decision to buying your next EV. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already yet. And uh, until the next video, take care of yourselves. And as always, happy charging.